Hi, thanks for joining Ken Beer Reviews today. Got another beer, um, a fairly newish um, beer, the collaboration beer with is it Duggars and Wiper and True. This is their Twin Pines Double IPA. It's coming in at 8.8% ABV, 330ml bottle. Uh, it's got a best before the 14th of uh, February of 2018. Massive shelf life. Um, so yeah, collaborational brew um, with Duggars. They're out of Sweden. And Wiper and True, uh, they're out of Bristol. Get it right. So yeah, silver bottle cap. Let's crack this beer open then. I've had a few recently. I had a sour from Duggars. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I've had one or two from Wiper and True over the years. Let's pour it a little bit aggressive to try and generate a head. Yep, yeah, doing well there. Quite an aggressive pour. Bit silly really, but a two finger white head. Cloudy, nice kind of, well, almost kind of to the blood orange colour, almost to the amber stage, but not quite. Yeah, hazy, loads of particulates just hanging around in the glass, general carbonation running through the beer. So, yeah, a definite bottle conditioned beer. Yeah, loads of particles in that. I don't know if you're picking that up. So, Let's get an aroma then. Oh yeah, big resiny notes. Spruce. There's a nice spruciness to it. Spruce tips. Big orange, big fat orange, juicy orange. Slightly dank. Wow. Tropical fruit notes. Mango. Not very big, but... Yeah, nice citriness about the beer. Really nice aroma to the beer, at least. Let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. Oh yeah, big. Big, big resinous, as the name suggests. Twin pines, it's really giving off a nice kind of the nice, well, the spruceness, really. Um, very resiny, dank. Probably not to everyone's taste buds. Possibly an acquired taste. I like it. I love the smell of pine needles. So yeah, this is uh, and it's really well carbonated. Look at that. See that bit of floaties flying around there. So there's quite. They're not absolutely massive, but there is a lot of chunky yeast floating around in this beer, which is fine. There's nothing stuck to the bottom of the bottle, so let's pour all these goodney goodies in. The goodness, I do like all of this. If you want to leave it, I think you might struggle with this one because it didn't seem to be stuck being a new beer to the bottom of the of the bottle. So I purchased this at um, Canterbury Bottle Shop, the Good Shed. Popped over there on the first of April. I'm reviewing this on the eighth. So this is my final beer that I purchased from them earlier in the week, but yeah, fantastic stuff. Douglas are more, they seem to do a lot more kind of sours, what I've noticed. I had a recent, I had one from them yesterday actually. Um, I think it was, what's it called, their Damson? Can't remember now. It doesn't matter. It's just a beautiful. It's not. It's not one of them massive kind of fruit bombs. 
it's all very subtle, quite dry on the palate. Mm. You're not picking up the ABV for sure. The mouth feels sort of the upper end of medium, very drinkable. There's a nice kind of It's got a very nice earthy quality to the to the beer, to, certainly to the body. It's pinning it through for sure. That kind of peatiness on the palate. If you're after a big tropical bomb, this probably isn't it. But I like to have a variation within a style when I drink an IPA. I don't want the same kind of thing all the time. Like, I mean, this is this is quite hazy. It's not one of them very bright haze for days kind of New England style. It th this reminds me quite a lot of a maybe a New Zealand Australian IPA for sure. It's certainly not West Coast. It's got a lovely amount of resiny hops though. Not particularly bitter at all. There's a slight sweetness at the front end. But yeah, very enjoyable beer. Um, a fairly new beer, I think. Um, I saw a photograph about two or three days before I went to the bottle shop. I thought, oh, that looks interesting. And then I saw it there. I was like, ah, let's give that a go. So yeah, lovely collaboration brew for sure. Um, by looking at the style of the of the bottle, um, brewed brewed in uh, at, at Duggars. This beer is a collab with our friends from Wiper and True. They wanted to do a Swedish version of their piney amber ale. Together, we decided to ramp it up in every way take a walk on the pine side so there you go these guys I'll put all their links down below um, they're on Facebook Twitter Instagram um, and I think else uh, the ingredients malted barley what's that Braga malt see I'm an idiot so I don't know I should know what that is wheat malt and then it goes into Swedish again. Yeah, not not bad. A nice variation within one of my favourite styles. So, one more taste then. I'll give it a quick rating. Mm. Yeah. Not for me a a world class but very good not far off it it's an 8 out of 10 from me 8 out of 10 I'll give it about a 90 out of 100 something like that it's about that kind of range um, so yeah if you've had this beer before a collaboration beer with Duggars and Wiper and True the Twin Pines double IPA coming in 8.8% ABV let us know your thoughts and opinions that would be great down below uh, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That'd be really cool. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this. I'm due to go... Well, I'm going up to Leeds on the 13th of April. Hop City. Oh, yeah. So I'll be doing a load of reviews there with Jake and others. Uh, possibly Harry Meadows and Dean from Deer... Dean's from Deer... Dean's Beer Reviews, get it right. And Blue Nose Beer Reviews and Jaco Beer. So... Look out for that, that's coming up soon. Um, also I'll be doing, posting one or two from a bottle share that me, um, Blue Nose Beer Reviews and Dean's Beer Reviews from back in November. So they're, they're just starting to come out now. We've just, you know, you know what it's like, life and stuff. So yeah, so we've got all them to look forward to. Thanks for joining me then and I'll go because I'm rambling. See you on the next review. Cheers.